let me get this straight, a temperature thermometer meter for like under five bucks. No way, no way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's impossible. It ain't going to happen. It's, oh my God. It's a 902C. Oh. Absolutely insane. This thing is a bargain basement. But you know what? Bargain basement is one thing. Ending up in the dollar store is one thing, but I mean, is that any good? Does it actually read a temperature? Well, let's find out. Okay, so here it comes. That's what you get in the box. Well, first of all, you don't get a box. You get this bubble wrap. You know, if you're one of these OCD types and just like to hit those bubbles, you'll be happy. But that being said, it's pretty uh, basic, light, sturdy little device. So uh, it, it shipped just fine. You get, of course, your K-type thermocouple and something in Chinese, not sure what this is. Uh, oh, well, it is instructions actually. Um, what do we have? 50 to 1300 degrees Celsius. Wow. And of course you get the 902C. Now I've seen this in different variations. Even on Amazon, it's listed as another device for about 15 bucks more, but the exact same meter here it is. It's got a standard plastic housing. That being said though, it's actually fairly decent. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top, but good quality plastic for what you're getting and what you're really paying for. Unfortunately, we don't have any tilt stand. This is strictly the battery housing compartment powered by two AAA batteries. Always a good thing, but like I said, no tilt stand. So it's always going to be down on the ground. When it comes to a temperature meter, it doesn't get any more basic than this. You have your on off button. That's it. Nothing else, nothing fancy, no schmancy going on. Attach that K type thermocouple like so, and you are ready for temperature action. I said action. And when you turn that meter on, look at that. That is a pretty decent font. LCD display, no backlight, but very clear, high contrast. And the size of those numerals are very, very nice. So uh, a fairly good looking display considering you're in the bargain basement cheapo realm. And all things considered, I think it's, you know, pretty decent. Um, fairly good contrast. You're not gonna lose a lot. Of course, you're gonna be looking at it basically head on most of the time. But that being said, hey, this is a sweet display. So what I've done here is I've taken that thermocouple from the client tools and I've wrapped it around the uh, 902C and look at that. They're basically in the same space and uh, almost verbatim 24.3 for the client 24.0. Oh no, no, it's, it's okay. Still figuring it out, but you can see rock solid. Now, um, yeah, once again, not a lot of features. We are only in Celsius mode on the 902C. There is no Fahrenheit, but uh, I gotta say all things considered, it seems to be quite a good stable reading 22.9 22.8 yeah so hey you know what hey it works it works and brought in a third opinion the fluke 62 max plus and as you can see 21.2 um, actually agrees more with the 902c than the Klein. so that is some really sweet temperature sensing going on no ambient sensor on the 902c so you've got to use that k-type thermal adapter uh, you have no choice but that being said it seems to be fairly now, why not let's take out a lighter and just light those two tips together see what we have wow once again even with that high degree of heat going on that flame was pretty well, similar. Let's just try this again here. Get those two thermocouples together. Now, ideally you wanna use a high temperature probe when you're doing stuff like this, because you are going to change that substrate. The tip of that thermocouple is gonna be aff affected to some degree. Now, for some reason we're getting an OL on the client suddenly but the little 902C is still chugging along. Look at that, 500 degrees Celsius plus. And oh, there it is. Now the client has come back in action. Try that one more time. Yeah, for some reason we get that high heat, the client just 
temporarily just blacks out weird. So in this case, I'm gonna say that cheapo 902C does a better job with high temperature. Whoa! Quick tear down, look at that tiny miniature square PCB. Um, there is the background for the display, but not much else going on. There's our uh, two wires feeding that three volts into this little device. So I'm gonna get rid of this PCB and see what's underneath. So here we are looking at that PCB, not much going on. We have some small discrete resistors and capacitors on the PCB. And there is our K-type junction over here. Really nice soldering, so um, very clean. Looks like uh, they took some time. Look at those nice solder blobs here on the on-off switch as well. Very clean. The um, epoxy resin here covering the main IC. And I'm trying to see if we have any sort of um, Ah, right here. Okay, so that's probably some sort of programmable header from the factory. I was hoping that perhaps, perhaps, we had a calibration pot on this so we could tweak it. But no, it was done at the factory right there. Um, wow, very basic. Of course, that's the uh, circuit that feeds the uh, Zebra Daniel display strip, giving us that nice LCD output. But really not much else going on here. What is this, a telephone number? TEL. 1523-345-55. If you're not happy, give us a call. Oh my God. And here's the other side. There's that Zebra Daniel strip here. Um, makes contact with that uh, surface of the PCB. And really that's it. Pretty basic. Um, okay, put it back together. Come back with my closing thought. Closing thoughts, the TM902C. Hey, I like this little temperature thermometer. This is a good little meter. You know, it does the job. You don't always need to bring a big honking DMM with you on site. Stick this in your pocket. And if you just need temperature, you're good to go. If you're gonna do any sort of high temperature testing though, I recommend replacing the K-Type with a standard high temperature probe. Much better results much more accuracy going on that being said dime for dollar this is a sweet deal for five bucks us around six bucks canadian hard to go wrong with the 902c the tm 902c gets a solid four out of five stars thanks for watching this review everybody to the next one keep on testing